I created a jungle village in hardcore Minecraft. Did you even know there are jungle villagers in the game? Swamp villagers can also spawn in vanilla Minecraft, but they can just stay in the swamp hut. Okay, thanks, bye. And now we need to build a home for the jungle villagers. And as you know, the jungle can be a dangerous place. So here's the game plan. I want to build several connected tree houses that all surround one giant tree. So the villagers are protected from any dangers below. I also want to build a nice pond underneath to protect everyone from the biggest danger, themselves. Now let's start a brand new hardcore world. And I'll explain how you get these special villagers after I speed run some iron gear. I need food next. So while I hunt some cows, here are the ways to get jungle and swamp villagers. First, you can find a buggy village that spawned on the edge of your desired biome, but that could take forever to find. For the second way, you can spawn them in your biome with an egg, but that's cheating. Third, you can cure a zombie villager in your biome, but you'd need to find one first and have it not die or despawn. There is one last way, and I'll show you it after I finish the village. To complete our goal, we need to find two things, any type of village and a jungle biome, but all I see is birch forest. Yes, a plains biome, and our luck is beginning to change. I'm gonna mine this really quick. Wait, do I need a diamond pickaxe? Okay, here it is. Now let's see what's in here. Golden carrots. This is such an OP start. Hopefully we can find a village before the sun sets. And no luck so far. Should I keep searching through the night? Ooh, this is such a bad idea. I should have got some wool when I had a chance. It's usually so easy to find a village. I thought I would have had a bed and food by now. This is so intense. And there are some sheep. Now we need to find a safe place to craft a bed and go to sleep. I hope this place is good enough. Let's quickly craft a bed and get through this night. It's a brand new day and I'm confident we will find a village soon. We will need one for our future plans. Ooh, and I see something up ahead. Things are looking up. Wait, something's happening. No, 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 no. Uh, where am I? Oh, thank goodness. It's just this video sponsor, Honkai Star Rail, a brand new free-to-play cross-platform RPG made by Hoyoverse that is coming soon to mobile and PC. You can pre-register now with the link in the description and become one of the first to experience this unique sci-fi universe. Step aboard the Interstellar Astral Express and venture to different planets. Get to know new acquaintances with compelling backstories and work together to save the world. Between epic battles, you can freely explore. There are secrets around every corner. Find treasure, solve puzzles, or just have a chat with the local inhabitants. Several powers and races come together in a vast universe filled with rich in-game lore spanning thousands of years. It's never-ending fun with multiple side stories to experience. While exploring these beautiful new worlds, you'll make plenty of new friends and overcome powerful enemies. The turn-based gameplay is easy to get a hang of, then you can hone your skills and become a master of its deep battle system. Develop your own strategy and build a customized team for combat. With shifting characters, environments, and enemies, along with several different ways to upgrade, there are many possibilities when constructing your perfect team. Also, the combat does not have overly complex actions, making it easy to play on a mobile device wherever you go. And with shared game data, you can log into your game on both mobile and PC, allowing you to play anytime, anywhere. So make sure to use the link in my description to pre-register today. Whoa, now let's go find out what's up ahead. And it's just a pillager outpost. I really hope I have enough iron for a shield. Oh yes, just enough for one iron ingot. I shouldn't have tried to craft this so close to the outpost. Wait, how do you make a shield? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Wait, where are all the pillagers? I'm gonna take this opportunity to free him before they spawn. Oh, I hear them. I feel like there's too many of them. I need some backup. Come on. Okay, last fence. Time to come out. You're really embarrassing me in front of the pillagers. I have two and a half hearts left. Why are they still focusing on me? Where is he going? Come on, two left. <laughs> if I killed him, I probably would have accidentally started a raid. Oh, that was a close one. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now let's see what's up in the chest. Hopefully something good. Now let's get out of here before any more pillagers show up. Sorry, I don't think he'll fit in my boat. Bye. I'm sure he'll be fine. Almost dying to those pillagers made me realize I should get better gear. I think the fastest way to get decent enchanted diamond armor would be raiding a couple end cities. That means we have to beat the dragon. So let's add that to our to-do list. We found a jungle biome, let's go! <laughs> this dreary day does not match my level of excitement at all. <gasps> and there's a village right next to it! This is gonna make things so much easier. <laughs> That's such good timing, cause I just ran out of all my golden carrots. It stopped raining, we got a ton of food, and I did some scouting, but we have a problem. This is the entire jungle biome. We're gonna have to find another one. It looks like the jungle biome extends that way, but the sun is setting, so we'll explore over there in the morning. I'm so happy to have so much food on me now, but unfortunately, it looks like the jungle biome ends here, so I guess we'll keep venturing forward. But first, there's one last thing I have to do here. 
<laughs> Let's go. I did not think I was going to be able to do that. This teeny tiny jungle biome is where I was, and this giant jungle biome is where I traveled to. I had to travel over 2,000 blocks until I finally found this giant jungle biome. I think this will be the perfect place for a jungle village. <laughs> but I should probably build my own starter house first. Oh, cool, a brown panda. Those are pretty rare. Okay, focus. We need wood to build a starter home, but first let's find a cave to get iron for shears. Whoa, it goes really far down. This seems the fastest way down, but I don't think I want to go all the way down there. Oh, hello, zombie. Get out of here, please. Okay, there's some iron. Get out of here, spider. I think we're clear. I'm going to grab this iron, and let's get out of here before anything else attacks us. Go, go, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Stupid skeleton. I gotta go down. I gotta go down. Oh, okay. Let's, let's heal up and now work our way back up. We'll make our way to the surface. Maybe if I just hide in the water a little farther. Please, nothing else shoot me. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh, okay. I think we made it. All that for five iron. While that's smelting, I wanted to try out this goat horn. I've never found one of these before, so let me know what they're actually used for in the comments. Now, resource gathering montage. Two trees should be enough wood, but I forgot one block of dirt. <laughs> That's gonna bug me so much. There we go. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, oh my gosh. Why did I cut down trees so far away from my bed? That was unnecessarily dangerous. Wait, where's my bed? I had it on me the whole time. Now let's get the starter home built. Foundation is set, I placed tiki torches all around, and now let's build this house. Perfect! I finished just as the sun is setting. Yoink! I love these windows. I can shoot any monsters that get close, but I guess they could shoot me too. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, I missed this in the time lapse. I'm such a noob. Hello, special panda. I made a bow to protect you. Now let's build a proper mine entrance for our new home. We need to get blaze rods to beat the game. And I need buckets for the jungle village build. Ooh, go, 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 go. Instead of mining obsidian, we could just get buckets of lava to build another portal. Aw, oh, man. Okay, let's build a way back up. That was super satisfying to watch back, but this creeper almost blew up my house. Now let's get these buckets. I'm so glad nothing attacked me while I was getting that smelting shot. Oh, there goes a torch. Ten buckets should be just enough to build a portal, but I have no idea how to get back to my cave entrance. I found a random way to the surface, and I think that's my house up ahead. Wait, that's fire. Okay, just another ruined nether portal. Let's see if we got lucky again. Definitely not. <laughs> but at least there's a way to let our nether portal. Actually, we could just- Ow! Ow! Oh, if my house is close, this could be my nether portal. We just need to get home safely. Yes, my house is right there. I had to pick the most creeper-infested jungle. Hopefully, that's the last one for now. Can you break crying obsidian with an iron pick? Okay, finally we got our answer. Fortunately, there's only two. Oh no, please don't come over here. Oh, I think it wandered away. Oh no, 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 come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, so close. And now I'm out of arrows. Anyone else want to come out? 
<laughs> there we go. Just gonna throw out my trash really quick, grab a little water, and place it above the portal. Um, <laughs> what? All right, the water's working now. The portal is lit, but I'm anxious to see what awaits for us in the nethery abyss. I clean my inventory and, oh, uh, come on. Correct. Now we have a single arrow to face everything in the nether. I probably should have got more. Whoa, nope, you are not invited. Okay, let's go before anything else shows up. Wow, this is actually a fairly safe spawn. Can't go that way. The Crimson Forest seems to be the only way to go. We just need to get blaze rods for now, then we'll get back to building. I don't really want to fight hogwins right now, so let's see what's up here. Yes! That was for sure my first try. Alright, the hoglin root it is. <laughs> Let's get some golden armor before I'm spotted. Oh gosh, okay. Let's use this chance to redeem myself. That went slightly better, and my golden boots seem to be working. But there's a hoglin. Ha, <laughs> get torched, you evil beast. Oh, he's still strong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. <laughs> wow, I just had to ask nicely. I wish I still had that arrow right now. He can't have too much help left. Oh no. Ooh, I need to be more careful. Yes, finally another fortress. Now, how do we get in? Do we mine in? Oh, do we mine in here? Nice. Oh, our first chest. Nothing too crazy. I'm surprised we didn't run into anything yet. I oh, just what we need. Our first blaze rod. Now let's find where he came from. I uh, hello skeletons. Please don't touch me. I think we're getting closer to the spawner. We found a saddle! Two saddles! This fortress is awesome, but I cannot find the blaze spawner. Ooh, more horse armor and nothing else- Why am I taking damage? Oh, wither skeleton! I'm going to die for sure! Oh, that was too close. I need to be more aware of my surroundings. I think that might be the blaze spawner over there! Oh man, down to two hearts again. I probably should have got diamond armor before doing this. Oh no, there's too many of them. Please, nothing spawned back here. Oh, okay, that was too close. I'm almost out of food, and we have 12 blaze rods. That should hopefully be enough to get us to the end. I made it back to my portal, and we got ourselves an ender pearl. It looks like we also got some piglin friends, and still just one ender pearl. <laughs> but we got a grass block without silk touch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We actually got some pretty good loot from that adventure, and 24 blaze powder. Now let's take a break from beating the game and clear an area for our jungle village. We have about five double chests full of bamboo after all that. Plus we got a good start to the wood collection for the jungle village. Unfortunately, this is all the food I have left. So I'll explain my build plans while I go hunt down some chickens. Ooh, a little bird friend. My friend has one of these in real life and they are so cute. Now we can be best friends forever. Wait, where are you going? Welcome to your new home. Oh, welcome to your new home. Now back to the hunt. I hear a zombie. Hello. I guess I should start heading back now. Okay, that's a lot of zombies. I have an idea. Ooh. That worked so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> we got plenty of food from that. We need one more mining montage before we can decimate the jungle forge resources. My first five diamonds. A jungle zombie villager. I don't think I can save him, but I told you it was true. So sad. And 
Did I scare you with that pickaxe throw? We now have a little over a stack of iron and seven diamonds. Plus all this from strip mining and 30 tropical fish because they don't understand how waterfalls work. I do need a fresh set of armor. Then everything else will go towards dismantling an entire jungle. Let's set these to cook and... Wait, can you not cook tropical fish? <laughs> They're too cool to kill, so I've never tried. <gasps> sushi. While the iron is smelting, let's get everything we need. Oh, more sushi. Some feathers, some bamboo to burn, and some iron. This is the first time I've not made a pickaxe with my first diamonds in a world, but we need axes. We're gonna need a ton of wooden leaves to build the jungle village, but I don't want to destroy the surrounding biome to build it. <laughs> oh, I know just the place to get what we need. Here we are, the jungle that portrayed me with its false hope of building here. Look at this delicate, fragile ecosystem teeming with life. I'm gonna put an end to it. <laughs> Relax, I'm not gonna burn it. I'm gonna dismantle it block by block. We need epic music and a crazy montage for this one. Let's go! Ow. Let's try getting some TNT to blow up this place. This skeleton is gonna get me killed! <sighs> Another zombie villager forced to fall to my blade. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> that was not worth it. This is taking too long. I wish I had powers like that. It actually took me several hours and almost four diamond axes. I had to stop halfway through to mine more diamonds. But it was all worth it because we got a visitor? Do you have anything good? Just a couple of leads then. As I was saying, we got a little over three chests full of logs. And actually a little less leaves because I ran out of shears fast. We also got stuff I don't want to bring back and some other drops from the jungle. The underbrush is oak leaves, so I've been eating tons of apples. I hate these things. I want to show you something over this hill, but it's probably too dangerous right now. Why didn't I just sleep the last few nights? You see that ocean? Oh, everything's coming at me right now. Fine, we'll look in the morning. Get away. Oh, let's just find a place to sleep. That was not smart. Okay, across that ocean and down a river is a direct path to our house. So it should just be a few easy trips back and forth over the water to deliver all these resources. But first, let's get rid of any witnesses of our deforestation. I really just wanted more food. Now let's get these chests to the beach and head on home. Oh yeah, there's a random part of the river missing. I think I have an extra diamond on me. Sweet, let's clear a tunnel. I tried using coordinates to figure out when to turn, but I feel like I should have made it to the river by now. Oh yes, dirt. We made it to the other side. And the water's the same level. That's such a relief. And now this part should be fun. <laughs> the water's pushing me along. This is so easy. And we made it back. But now we have all these resources to come back for too. Oh, I just remembered chess boats are a thing. Awesome. Now we have a straight path by boat to our house. <laughs> that will make kidnapping the villagers. <laughs> that will make relocating the villagers much easier. This is so satisfying. And we made it to the other side. This boat upgrade will make things so much faster. I just finished transferring and organizing everything. All the somewhat important stuff safely stored inside my very flammable home. And everything else is right here. Now let's terraform. Before building the main tree, I want to transform this area into a pond in case I fall while building. I'm going to throw you into the air now and I'll try to catch you. Ready, go! See? Gross, messy jungle floor. But now... Whoa, too close. Check this out. A dried up pond. And Kacha. That actually took a long time. And I ran out of bone meal while adding grass around the edge. Ow. 
Why do I keep doing that? Okay, while in the air, did you notice I added trees over here? And a nice little exit. Perfect for the pond to drain into the river. Now we need to fill this whole thing. Let's grab all the buckets we made before and get rid of this extra lava. <laughs> now we can parkour to the nether portal. All right, water montage, go! Ow, see, this is why we're doing this. Refreshing. And we can ride a boat out of the pond and into the- Oh man. And into the river. Nice. Let's test this thing again. <laughs> That's much better. Okay, tree time. That took over two hours, and we had a couple hiccups, but I really like how it turned out. Ah, it seems our pillager guests also like it. I think we stand a good chance fighting them in the pond. While I lure them into the water, here are some of the problems I ran into. I had a few close calls due to miscalculated jumps. I sometimes struggled to get blocks that fell. <laughs> Here's me trying to get my bed that fell off the top of the tree. It took a lot longer than I'd like to admit to retrieve it. And I had to reshape the trunk a few times. <laughs> but the villagers will be so safe up there. <laughs> Look at these chumps accidentally shooting each other. This is taking way too long. Charge! Hiya! Got him! Whoa, I'm sinking. Oh my gosh, they broke my boat. Oh no, I didn't know they could do that. Maybe we need to take it slow. Yes, one down. Oh, they got my boat again. That's two. Come on, a little closer. Haha! -ha. Got him with his own arrow. Actually, let's out. Let's get the leader first. There we go. That's the second time we avoided the bad omen effect. I wonder how that iron golem is doing. Oh right, we have one more pillager to defeat. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. That was fun, but unnecessarily dangerous. I can't swim away fast in water one block deep. I'll need to fix that. Let's do that now and get this tree some leaves on it. Through a lot of trial and error, along with having to get more leaves through the end, I have finally finished the tree and added platforms for buildings. I will now celebrate by throwing you off the tree. There is one more thing I want to show you. There is one more. Oh, uh, there is one more thing I want to show you. Ooh, I didn't get hurt that time. There is one more thing. Oh, yes, that I want to show you. It's down here. Ow. I'm in it deeper in parts of the pond, and it's starting to feel like I'm building a place for dinosaurs. Anyway, check it out. I can swim in here now, and more importantly, escape faster. Next, we need to bring more life to this pond and add more grass over here. We can get bone meal from the nether. I think I have some more gold armor in here. Yes, time to plunder the nether of its precious fossils. Ow, parkour. Oh, it's getting night time. I'm done dealing with any more mobs around my portal. Whoa, there are so many zombie piglins in here. That's what we're here for. There are so many skeletons too. At least we're getting some arrows. That actually gives me an idea. We'll grab some more bone blocks and we'll also get some gravel for arrows. These skeletons really don't want me here. Let's go find a warped forest. I knew I spotted one while traveling through this crimson forest. Ah, uh, here we go. We're gonna need a lot of ender pearls to find a stronghold and beat the game. So I figured I'd get some while I'm in the nether. One down, 23 more to go. Luckily, warped forests are teeming with- No way, a bastion. I am not ready for this, but we're going anyway. Uh, hello there. I'm just here for that chest. I'm just gonna close that up really quick. Oh. Oh, nope. Go, 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 go. Okay, he's stuck over there. Now let's hope no piglins see me do this. Oh, nice. I think we're in the clear. Ooh, diamond shovel with unbreaking and some food. The hall gun's unstuck. Oh, gosh. Time to get out of here. I'm stuck. Oh, he's right there. I'm gonna die. Oh, I think we're safe. That was too close. I need to be more sneaky. I think most of the piglins are on the higher level. I can hear them all around. Oh, nice. Spectral arrows and some gold. Plus another ender pearl. And I think there's more endermen. I might be able to trade my gold for arrows or pearls from the piglins. Or just get a bunch of trash. I can block off piglins down here to get chests, but I don't know. Ooh, nice, more food and iron. But I don't know how we're gonna get the chests up top without alerting the piglins. Sweet, ancient debris. And now we have almost enough iron for a hopper. Hello, good sir. May I please have some iron nuggets? Oh, a water bottle. Thanks. We can actually use a hopper to drain the chests without angering the piglins. <laughs> There's a bunch of piglins stuck up here. And I forgot the brutes attack on sight. We may need a new plan. Ooh, that's too high. Oh, we should be fine down here. Whatever happened to just getting bone meal and ender pearls? I've never thought of this before, but what if we just dug under the chests to get to them? Oh, sweet. Okay, no iron, but this is all useful. Hello, other good sirs. Would you like to trade? I have gold, and that is a piglin brute. I think we escaped him. I'll just trade with these guys. Yeah, just trash again. At least I'm finding a lot of chests. Oh, more arrows. Okay, the chests are right there. So in theory, I should be able to mine under them and access them from below. There it is. Alternatively, I could also mine the wrong block and have a brute fall right down here. We did it. Whoa, there's a lot of good stuff. Nice, unbreaking three and silk touch. Just those made this detour worth it. And curse of vanishing. I guess it's still better than my current sword. The next chest shouldn't be too hard to get to. 
I've had so many arrows. Let's just try defeating the birds to get the other chests. They shouldn't be able to get me in here. Oh, but the piglins with crossbows can. <laughs> They're just like the pillagers. I guess luring them away from the chests work too. I'm still gonna hide under them in case any piglins decide to come back. Here was my initial plan. It'd work better if you brought a hopper with you instead of crafting one here though. First, make sure there's no brutes around. Good, they all seem trapped down there. Next, you go and dig under the- Whoa, we missed one. I probably should have waited until I had good diamond armor to loot this place. Next, you have to dig just one block under the chest. No need for a tunnel. Then just place the hopper below and it will drain the contents without making the piglins around you mad. <laughs> but honestly, the tunnel system works better because it protects you from the brutes. That should be the last of it. Now let's get back to hunting endermen. I built a little platform to protect me from these angry giants. All my weapons broke, and I left my wood and crafting table behind in the bastion. There we go. I sense an evil presence above me. I knew it. Away with you, demon. Dodging my arrows, then taste my blade. Finally. We should have enough now. Let's go home. You think you can stop me? I just conquered a bastion. I feel unstoppable. I can even win in third person. I am the master of the nether. Okay, but seriously, I nearly died a lot. Who knew getting bone meal for a build could be so dangerous? And now that we're back, we can add some color around the pond and finally build this jungle village. Let's first unload the crazy loot we found. <laughs> Whoops, I left my door open. We got a good start on a netherite collection, along with two awesome pickaxes and enough ender pearls to go with our blaze powder. Now let's add some life to the pond. As I finished adding the seaweed, I realized our pond needs fish. I think the drowned want to come too. Oh, we could get tropical fish from the caves. Why do the undead want to live in my pond? Oh, I need a new sword and helmet. Oh, axolotl. And diamonds. It's like a zombie apocalypse right now. Yes, finally some tropical fish. And <laughs> these zombies are relentless. That went way better than expected. Axolotls are so cute. Oh no, I forgot how violent axolotls are. We'll have to move him soon. But for now, let's plot out the village. Wait, oh, I forgot I had this. We could have left the nether that much sooner. Okay, this will be the town hall. And wait, he's killing too many fish. And here is where all the buildings are gonna go. I plotted out each build marking the corners with logs. And now I want to figure out a design style to make the village feel unique while keeping that vanilla style feel. My plan is to redesign Plains Village structures into something that looks like it was built by a remote jungle tribe. I added a little ladder here to get up now. The easiest build to start with would be the house, and one will go right here. But how to get down there? Axolotl, catch me! <laughs> Good job. Now let's design this house. Okay, I think we got a good- <gasps> Oh, that's why we built the pond first. And <laughs> note to self, keep a water bucket and hop bar at all times. We'll add a door here, and I don't think glass windows would fit the vibe I'm going for. I've been staring at this for so long. It looks good, right Axolotl? But needs more color, like some green to help it blend in more. Azalea tree spawn in the jungle? <laughs> that actually gives me an idea. You're coming with me, and we can go grab some moss and stuff from the lush caves below. Let's go! And here we are- Oh. Poor fish. Definitely recommend using a hoe and gathering this stuff. Ooh, we could probably use drip leaves too. Insta mining is so satisfying. Our first baby zombie. Whoa, I didn't even notice that first arrow. I'll just hit him off. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe this time. Yes! I did not think my health would get that low. Oh, we could use glow berries too. And more gold. That should be enough for now. And we do also need to get beds. But first, let's figure out this house design. I think it would be cool if the windows were just glowberries. That looks nice. Now let's just hope no skeletons shoot through the windows. And down here, let's add some moss with a little table. Nice. Now the drip leaves will grow, so I thought they could help hold up the roof. That looks so cool. All that's left is growing a glowberry. So let's go grab some bone meal. Perfect. Now let's go do that to two more walls. I think we have our finished exterior, but I forgot two of the windows. I'll fix that soon. Now for the interior. It 
looks like a natural carpet with a tree branch coming up as a table. With that done, let's go find some sheep. There will be four houses, so we'll need 12 wool, and there's a creeper behind me. Now I get why villagers keep cats around. Since cocoa beans are so readily available, I think the jungle tribes would craft brown beds. And with this, the inside is done. We'll also add a little moss up here too. This is going to be a farmer's home. So we'll make a little melon farm up here, and for this treetop tribe to optimize space up here, we'll make a cocoa bean farm along the sides. With a composter to finish it up. The first house is complete, and the villagers will be one with nature. We'll add a bridge later. Now I just have to build three more houses like that. Or... The animations are so fun to make, but the houses actually didn't take too long to build. I changed up the design of the moss on each roof, and finished all the farms before doing the houses. I also added one more platform, built the house down there, and just about finished that house. However, I didn't have enough drip leaves. I made one other tweak out that I want to show you. I think it's in the house down here. Out. Some houses have flowering azalea- whoops, wrong house. <laughs> Maybe it was that house over there. Oh, I should have built a pond a little more this way. I think I can still make it. Wee! I'm not gonna make it. Oh, that was really dumb. I almost died just to show you this pretty bush. Please like and subscribe. Okay, I should not jump again, so let's get up, get up, get up here, and jump over. <laughs> that was embarrassing. We have our design style figured out, so let's speedrun the rest of these builds. Need to fix this. Okay, let's test this magic crossbow we found. It worked, and the build looks great. Up first, we have our toolsmith structure. Like the houses, I made the roof slimmer and added some greenery. On the inside, there's a wild drip leaf, moss carpet, and a smithing table. The more I work on these builds, the more I wish I built the bridges first. Alright, let's spawn another build. There we go, we successfully spawned a Fletcher's workshop. Now the villagers have access to ranged weapons. They will need to be fierce warriors to survive in the jungle. There's just a fletching table in here and a flower pot. I'd imagine they'd want a temple too. Now only one more build to go. The village temple was slightly more difficult to get right, since it's all normally made of cobblestone. But I think it turned out well, and fits right in. I really like the inside here. I replaced the ladder with vines, and blocked off the edges with trapdoors, so the vines don't spread. It still needs a brewing stand though. And while building the temple, I noticed a problem with the farms. All the stems are grown, but no melons yet. It turns out they only grow on certain blocks like dirt, so the farms will now produce half of what I wanted them to. But they're more just for looks anyway. Alright, this is the last structure before I work on the town center, and the last time- Oh. And the last time I use a crossbow for now. Only the best towns have blacksmiths. I replaced the lava with campfires just to keep this entire build safe. But I think I want to change the cobblestone to something else. It doesn't seem realistic for a tribe to have all the stone in a tree. Time to redeem myself. Oh yes. Okay, let's look inside. I added more drip leaves, my first set of armor, and a chest. I wanted this place to look different, but I think we should just stick with jungle wood. Now we need to go find a mangrove swamp to fix this. Oh yeah, and all the farms have melons now. Time to go on an adventure. Climbing up the mountain might help us figure out which way to go. Me constantly splashing into the pond must terrify these fish. I love the new way the mountains look, but I'll enjoy them more when I can fly up to the top. Wait, is that a jungle temple? It is! Excuse me? I always forget where the tripwire is. Oh, there! Ow. And where the dispensers are. Here's the other one. I <laughs> could have dodged that one. Is there ever anything good in this chest? I'm not even going to attempt the lever system to get this one. Ooh, diamonds! I'll grab these pistons too. I can't believe there was a jungle temple this close to the village. Okay, back to the task at hand. I'm so close to the clouds up here. The village looks so tiny. It's all jungle this way. So cool. I guess we'll head in that direction, after we grab these dispensers. Do you know what every epic quest has in common? A friendly companion forced to carry the main character toward their goal. Horses like apples, right? Okay, that's my only food source right now. Let's go find a mangrove swamp. Why do I keep finding the smallest biomes ever? I guess I have to climb another mountain again, which is much easier now with a horse. Is that a floating mangrove tree? Finally, we found one. Got to be careful not to hurt the horse. Now let's grab some mud, which can be used to make mud bricks to replace the cobblestone for our blacksmith. Two stacks should be enough. And while we're here, let's grab some tadpoles and lily pads for the pond. Ew, the water is so gross here and spooky. Something evil definitely lives down there. I've been searching for a while, but could not find any tadpoles. It'll be night soon, which is actually a good thing for once. Turns out to get tadpoles, you need to feed frog slime. Forest fires provide such ambient lighting. I need to lure two frogs together toward water. They're so cute. I love the frog animation. Now, how many slime will it take to get tadpoles? 
I guess just one each. Then one will lay eggs in the closest water block. While we wait for those to hatch, let's go find some fast food. Order up. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I wasted all my leather for that joke. Here is me actually hunting for food. Our tadpole should be hatched now. Hello. Oh yes, it's so cute. You are mine now. And there's a second one down here. I'm taking these with me. Would you like to come too? I guess that's a no. Back to the jungle. Ah, home sweet home. At least I think this is my jungle. Okay, good. I need to keep all the lily pads underneath the tree because if I fall and hit one, it's game over. Be free little tadpoles, but stay in my pond. Now to get mud bricks, we need to mix the mud with wheat. That gives you packed mud, which can be crafted into mud bricks. And finally, we can replace the cobblestone. That looks much better. If only we could change the furnaces too. I ran out of bone meal before I could change the roof, so we'll just plant some wheat over here. I learned a little something when researching how to make mud bricks. I could have just made the mud here, but if we never went, then we wouldn't have these little guys. With the last outer structure almost complete, we can knock out the town center. This is really hard to do in third person. <laughs> there we go. Now let's turn this place into a small sanctuary. Even though I found a silk touch pickaxe, I think it'd be cool to make the grass spread using the Enderman's grass block. And we'll use slabs for the ceiling in here. I'm gonna need some bone meal for this next part, and I remembered leaving some bones in here. Alright, now we can sprinkle in a few details. All done, come check it out. The outposts are done, I added a few pools of water, some places to sit, and mossy cobblestone ruins. Now we have a little place for our axolotl. I also made a rain catcher to act as the town well. The rain, really just the water source, lands up here. Then the water drips down through the dripstone and fills the cauldron, so the villagers can scoop it up and wait for it to refill. And down here is the way the villagers will be able to get up to the treetop. <laughs> the ocelot can't leave because of the fence I put around the perimeter. I can hop up, but I don't think mobs can. The main parts of the village are complete. Now we must prepare for the dragon fight. We'll add any finishing touches to the village like the bridges after we claim victory. I forgot my gold helmet. Uh, yeah, that's better. I think netherrack is the easiest block to gather for bridging in the end dimension. That should be enough. The last thing I need is arrows. Oops. Oh man, I forgot about the roof. We got our flint and the roof is looking good. Let's craft some arrows, golden apples, and some eyes of ender. We should be all set. I'll leave my bed here and set my spawn point. While I can't respawn in hardcore mode, it should make me teleport back here after I defeat the dragon. Ready to go, horse? I forgot to name him. Any suggestions? And away we go. It can't really go that way. Let's get one last look at our village in case I die. And now away we go. I already miss my bed. Sleeping through most nights has kept me alive up to this point. That was the last pearl I crafted. Let's find a safe place to craft some more. I'll just make two more for now. Oh, another creeper. This is the way. Ooh, a baby zombie riding a chicken. I don't think there's much more land past this area. Oh, oh, we made it to the stronghold. It's right under here. Oh, you again. They both have unfinished business. There are so many of them. I do not have this under control. Okay, the sun is coming up. What is with all the iron tools? I should get some more food really quick. This would actually be a really cool place to build in the future. That's the last of the stake. I dropped off everything I don't need and I'll come back for you eventually. Unless I die. This makes digging down much safer. We're in. I'll loot this place later. I'm anxious for a fight. There's so many ways to go, but not this way. Wow, this is a big stronghold. Yes, we found it. Oh, I hate silverfish. Let's break that. So many are still coming. Okay, last one. Wait, okay, that should be the last one. Now let's see how many pearls we need. All of them. Luckily, I came prepared. It is satisfying being able to put all the pearls in place. All right, let's do this.
We did it! I think that was my best dragon fight so far. Let's grab a torch and take our trophy. Now let's go get some diamond armor and hopefully an elytra. I have a good feeling about this. Our first gap to bridge. After wandering around for a little while, we found an end city. And it's one of the smallest ones that can spawn. I'm gonna play this extra safe. It's getting really hard to dodge all the projectiles. Shulkers take forever to kill with unenchanted weapons. What was that? My boots are gone, and there's the other shulker. We should be safe now. Oh no, I need to be more careful when getting third person shots here. Oh, that was close. Now let's see if we got any shells. We do. Oh, I did not learn my lesson. Now let's get the loot. Right now, I'm just here for armor, so we're gonna be sneaky. Instead of fighting, you can just mine to get the chest. Yes, just what we need. Oh, feather falling four. That's way better than expected. I feel safer already. What else do we got? Ooh, diamond leggings. Wow, I thought the city would disappoint. We're halfway there. Once you find a city, you want to go east or west to find the next city more easily. I found another city, but... Oh, excuse me. Don't think... Oh, you wanna go? Alright, let's tussle. I was way too confident on that one. As I was saying, this city doesn't have any chests, so on to the next one for now. I traveled so long and used all my netherrack to find another tiny city. I started out so hopeful. At least we got a decent pickaxe. Ew, I don't want Curse of Binding. A helmet with nice enchantments. Now I just need a chest plate. Finally, a big city, and it wasn't too far from the last one. There should be an ender chest in that part. I want to get one more shulker shell. This shield is not helping. Almost there. No. Oh, let's see what we got. A chest plate with decent enchants. And another pair of boots. I finally get to use my silk touch pickaxe. Just gonna grab it and run. Now I can make a shulker box. Let's go home. We weren't too lucky this trip, but next time we'll try to find an enchanted sword and an elytra. Now let's finish the village. Then I'll show you the best way to get jungle villagers. I always love the feeling of placing these inside my base and can't forget about the shulker box. We are so close to being done. This is before and this is after. I love these natural lampposts. Now the only thing the village is missing is villagers. The final way to get jungle villagers involves relocating other villagers here. Uh, remember when that was a jungle? Ooh, while we're here, I want to grab the spell too. Now all you have to do is capture a villager with a boat. Then you can use a piston to move the boat up a block. Ready? What is this? There we go. Now raise the villager up and slowly move him. Depending on the situation, you could use minecarts, but most of our journey will be in the water. I got a temporary home all set up for you. Now I have to go do that one more time. I should have used a rail system too. We got both of them here. Then you need to get food for them. And you probably guessed it, we need to breed them together to spawn a new villager. <laughs> this is so creepy. Finally a baby spawned. Oh no, it's taking damage. I'll save you little one. Oh, there we go. We finally have ourselves a little baby jungle villager. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm sure he wants to see his new home. So let's take a look at the final result.